Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of Scandi Tutorials. Today, we're going to learn reflections and putting them into sunglasses in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Alright then, let's get straight into the tutorial. So, the first thing to do, as always, is drag and drop the image that you're going to use into Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to use this image of these lovely Ray-Bans. So just drag and drop like so, and then the image is there and you're good to go. So control and J to make a duplicate of the layer, which is now named layer one, and just leave it named as that. Then drag and drop the second image that you're going to use. And I'm going to use this beautiful image of the Toronto skyline and then drag and drop like so. Now hold shift on the keyboard and then hold alt on the keyboard together and grab one of the corners and resize the image so it stays in scale as you can see it's doing for me and drag it to roughly about the area where you want it to go and change the opacity turn it down a little bit obviously so you can see what you're working with and then just mess around until you find a kind of a happy place to, to put the image so I'd say yep I was pretty much happy with that move it over that way a little bit right okay so good to go click the check mark and I think I'm gonna keep the opacity as it is for now we're gonna make some more adjustments to the image anyway so I wouldn't worry about that too much we're just kind of getting a rough idea at the moment so now we've got these two images together what you want to do is press control and click on the layer below so they are both highlighted in blue and then right click and merge the layers together so click on that like that and then we've got these two both together now so we're going to go down to our background layer and make this layer invisible so we've just got our original image and then go over to the quick selection tool in the top left and make a selection of the inside of the sunglasses so I'm just going to do this pretty quickly now if you're not too sure on how to use the quick selection tool then there is a quick tutorial here for you but like I said, it's, it's pretty straightforward and I'm going to pretty much show you the steps of what you need to do as well. So if you just stay tuned in here, then you know, you'll be pretty good to go. So I'm just going to go around these selections quickly. So once you're happy with the selections that you've made, you want to turn on the top layer and select the top layer as well and then click refine edge. Now, I'm gonna have my shift edge at minus 78%, the contrast at zero, the feather at zero pixels, and the smooth at zero as well. I'm not gonna mess around with the smart radius or anything like that. If you wanna get the same pink background as me so you can build it up, then just uh, click the drop down in view and then click overlay, just so you can see a little bit better, you know, what you're working with and the areas that you're working with, so it just, makes it a little bit clearer for you so you know you know what the result is going to be when it comes through so um, output to new layer with layer mask and press OK so now it's left us with something that looks like that so the layer below we don't need that anymore so I'm just going to left click and then press delete to get rid of it so now we're left with the original background and the copy with the mask on top which is putting the image into there so now we're going to mess around with the kind of reflection and, and the inner part of the image to really blend it in a little bit more and to do that we're going to go over to image and we're going to go to adjustments and then firstly we're going to mess around with the curves so we've used curves in a couple of tutorials before but if you're not familiar with it then bringing the bar down here makes it darker and taking it up here makes it lighter so you can literally change from you know day to night now I would recommend kind of grabbing it at two areas so say down here and then up here and then if I want to darken mine I'd just grab it there like so bring it down here and then about here as well and then bring it down there just so it comes down kind of in contrast together and if you wanted to change it and you wanted to make it a little bit lighter then you just take it up there and then bring this side along with it as well just so it looks a little bit more natural so 
I'm not going to have mine like that. I'm going to take it down to the darks. So I'm just going to take that down there and take that down there as well. And the idea for you to get a good looking image by using curves is to have the line, if you guessed it, as a curve. When it's not a curve, it starts going a little bit weird. So just mess around with the curvature of curves to get a good image. If that makes sense. So anyway, once you're happy with that, just click OK. And then we're going to mess around with a couple more settings. So go over to image again and then adjustments. And this time we're going to play around with the vibrance of the image. So you can increase and decrease the saturation and the vibrance of the image. And what that's going to do for you is really bring through the colors. So obviously you can see the colors on my image at the moment, but it's it's been quite darkened. So if I wanted to bring the colors through but maintaining the darkness, I'd mess around with the vibrance and also the saturation as well. So I'll just bring these bring the vibrance up a little bit and then bring the saturation up as well and you can start to see that it's you know it's really bringing the the color saturation through on the image and obviously if i wanted to take it down to the opposite end and i wanted to you know desaturate it a little bit then obviously i take the vibrance to minus and the saturation to minus as well so just take that up to about 30 and maybe a bit more on there just to really bring the colors through but you know maintaining the darkness and then press ok so starting to look pretty good if I get the image at roughly its true size then you can see that it is starting to really look like a reflection that's on the glasses as well next I'm gonna go back over to image and then over to adjustments again and I'm gonna mess around with the hue and the saturation now if you want to kind of change the tint of the um, of the sunglasses I forgot what they were called then then you can use the hue and saturation just check colorize and then just mess around with these and obviously you can change like the you know the, the whole color it's, it's not going to work too well with what we've just done but I'm just showing you that if you wanted to change the, the kind of you know the color of the lens then just use this mess around with the saturation to you know bring it up same again just like we did before but obviously this saturation is just going to be of one color so if i was on like dark blue i change the saturation it's you know it's really going to make it blue instead of changing the saturation of the actual image it's kind of putting like a blue filter or green or yellow or whatever it is and then increasing the saturation so change the saturation the other way but if you want to change the lens kind of cover or color should I say then just do that in image and saturation but I'm just going to keep mine as it is for now so if you want to kind of build in any edges or, or anything like that then just use your mask click over on this side and use your blacks and your whites to kind of paste paste it in paint it in should I say do that using your brush tool and um, changing your flow down to about 20% and also your brush hardness take that down and use a soft edge brush and just kind of build in around the side if there's any little bits that you want to kind of bring through I'm gonna leave mine as it is obviously because I still want to see the you know the end of this arm coming through here and obviously the the line of the arm coming through there so it you know it still kind of looks like it's not just an image that's been superimposed on top and there are one or two other ways that you can mess about with it too if you go to image adjustments oh no sorry filter and it's in here somewhere I know it is I don't use it that often so it's kind of hard to remember where it is is it in distort I think it is yep distort and then spherize and what this does it kind of change the curvature of you know of the orb of your mask so if your sunglasses aren't fully straight and you're using an image that is straight then use spherize kind of bulk it out at the front if you can you know if you can see what it's doing there it's kind of changing it and making adjustments obviously these are flat so I'm gonna you know keep mine as it is but if you do have kind of strange shaped sunglasses then mess around with sphere eyes and you know it's, it's a really good setting to add curvature to the image to make it look like it's really on but that's pretty much everything for uh, superimposing an image reflection onto sunglasses. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and please like, share and subscribe to my channel.